Good morning, Mustangs. Welcome to Montello today. I'm Danny. I'm Cameron. I'm Audrey. I'm Malcolm. I'm Seth. Monticello. Happy Friday and welcome to Monticello today. Today is the third to last Friday of the school year. Let that sink in for a moment. All right, let's get started with the announcements. The MHS Band will present its final program of the year next Thursday at 7 p.m. The Jazz and Concert Ensembles will perform with two-time Grammy-nominated smooth jazz artist James Saxmo Gates. The concert is free and James Gates will be available to meet the concert attendees following the performance. The Monticello Driven Honor Society will have its last meeting of the year on Wednesday, May 27th during Mustang Morning in R204. All returning members and new inductees, please attend. Are you looking for a job? Bojangles is hiring. Interviews will be conducted on Friday, May 29th and Wednesday, June 3rd at the Workforce Center on Hydraulic Road. For more information, please stop by to see Ms. Eubanks in the counseling office. If you are interested in applying to run for the MHS Student Council Association, applications are due tomorrow. See Ms. Mead for more information. That's all the announcements today, and now here's Potts with your sports report, followed by Turner Time. Have a great weekend, everyone. <laughs> Good morning Mustangs and welcome to the Sports Report. The track teams competed in the conference meet yesterday. The boys finished in 7th place while the girls team placed 5th. Chris Buck placed 2nd in the 200. The team of Aaron Vogley, Max Osher, Xander McDeesh and Andrew Gantz finished 1st in the 4x800 relay. Aaron Vogley placed 6th in the 800. Andrew Gantz placed 5th in the 3200 and Kellen Lee finished 6th in the pole vault. The boys across team crushed CHS last night, 18 to 7. The team was led by Colin Price, who scored eight goals. The boys across team and the girls across team have clinched regional tournament spots. The varsity sports team hosts Western tonight at six for the regional quarterfinal match, while the baseball team hosts Fort Defiance at six. Be sure to come out and support your Mustangs. Thanks for watching. As always, we'll see you tomorrow. Or, uh, <laughs> see you next week on Monitel Today. Now it's turn of time. Enjoy the show, Dr. Turner, MHS, let's go. It's Turner time, Dr. Turner time. Fridays go great when you watch Turner time. Now sit back and enjoy the show, Dr. Turner, MHS, let's go. Hey, what's up, Monticello? This is Dr. Turner. I, I almost missed it. I was fooling around in the office, but uh, I'm here. Hey, listen, it's Friday. We have a uh, three-day weekend. Uh, it, it has been a blast uh, just uh, trying to get through the, the school year. You know, at this point, have uh, some students who need to take a few more SOL tests. And we have graduation next weekend. But, but you know, I, I do want to say this. I'm extremely proud of how the young people engaged in the testing. You know, I, I, I obviously can't say this over the air, but I've been looking at the scores, and there have been some children who I've been extremely concerned about. I know they've been concerned about their, their test scores, and a lot of young people who uh, have been having some issues with passing one or more of the SOLs uh, have, have passed, and it's, it's, it's just been great. You know, it's, it's been a long year. And um, we, we're just about through, and, and I, just, I just want, I want all of you all to, to, to recognize how hard that you uh, worked and just, you know, just hold on. I mean, the school year is almost over with, okay? And uh, I want to say congratulations to Ms. Katina Dudley. Uh, she won the Educator of the Year Award that's sponsored by the CBIC. That's a huge deal. Um, you know, we, we have some phenomenal 
young people here, all of the young people are phenomenal. We have some outstanding teachers, and uh, that's, that's just an example of, uh, well, just w one example of, of how uh, awesome our teachers are uh, at Montel High School because of the way that they uh, oftentimes get recognized. Uh, we had Ms. Nichols a few weeks ago uh, win a golden apple. It's just, it, you know, we, it, it's, it's, there are powerful things that go on here at, at the school and um, our teachers are powerful as well. So with that, it's a three-day weekend. Please, please, please be safe. Uh, don't get into any trouble this weekend because um, I don't want to get a phone call about anything. I think I'm going to take my work cell phone and turn it off for the whole three-day weekend. So I plan on seeing all of you all back here on Monday and um, have a great Friday. Thanks a lot.